Hey guys, I just unloaded the kiln. Um, we have a lot of new glazes in here. Um, and we've been using, I've been using Bmix um, Brown Speckled Clay Laguna and um, Sayo 2 Black Clay. Okay, so I've been experimenting with um, colored clay, making my own colored clay. Check this out. Now, how cool is that? That's just a clear coat. The bottom is raw. Look at that. I, I think I'm onto something with this colored clay. And I'm really excited to experiment with it more. Okay, I'm just gonna set that aside. So I've been using a ton of new combos. Um, a lot of them ran onto the cookies or the shelf because I'm learning with these new Mako glazes. Um, these two, which I'll get the cookies off, um, are sandstone under frosted lemon. I absolutely love the combo. And the interesting thing is, I only brought the frosted lemon to like here. So it ran a lot and I fired to a slow, cool cone six. But I just think they're gorgeous. Little cute tumblers. Okay. Next we have, um, so my husband's a beekeeper, so I wanted to make honey pots for our honey. So check this out. And I'm really proud of it because I'm learning like lids and things um, and firing the lids inside the pot, which is raw on this and on the sides and on the bottom. So lots of honey flux in this batch. I, I got my first jar of honey flux by Amico. Um, so this is, the top is Marigold by Amico Celadon. Then these cute little transfers from Elon Transfers, that's a B. And then I did the Honey Flux. And then to marry them together, I just did a line of regular flux, Mako Flux, just to kind of blend them. It says Bees at Ease. That's like the name of our bees. And then the inside is just snow. Amico. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you that these are Mako glazes, these sandstone and frosted lemon. So, if, in case I forgot. Okay, so Honey Flux I'm learning is definitely a runner it, with other glazes. It seemed pretty stable by itself at the bottom of that honey pot. So I've got to get these cookies off, but how gorgeous is this combo? Love it. So I did a base of three times honey flux, um, smoky Merlot, like a line of smoky Merlot two times. Um, Amico, and then a line overlapping of <clears throat> Laguna Power Turquoise in the middle, and then uh, Rutil, Blue Rutil from Amico at the top, another line. You can tell at the bottom, like the Honey Flux is stable. It's just with these other, when you add glazes to it, it's gonna run, usually around the handle, but that's okay. So I've got a bunch of these. Some I added a little chun plum 
from Amico. How beautiful though, I love these. I don't know if you can see that. I noticed the Chun Plum comes out more pinkish, whereas the Merlot is more of a purple. I don't know if you can see the difference. There's a little bit of the Chun in here. But anyway, that's four, I have a set of four of these that all stuck to the cookie. Awesome, can't wait to grind. Um, all right, let me put these aside. <clears throat> Next up. Oh my God. I love how these came out. This is another new combo. Um, they're all like new combos. So it was a little risky, a little scary, but that's how we create and learn, right? All right. So I have a set of three of these. Brown Speckled Clay Laguna. And I did Pearl White Spectrum as a base. And then I did that Power Turquoise. And I'm trying to remember it, uh, Rutile. Blue Rutile. I love the inside, look at that. So pretty. I really like these a lot. Okay. Let's see. I have a little cheat sheet in case I forgot glazes. So this is like my standard like farmhouse line, which I think they're so cute. I got these, those transfers from Milan transfers, um, underglaze transfers, just on the brown speckled. This is the transfer and then pearl white. That's it. I just love what it does on this clay body. I was thinking cute of those. Love them. I have a bunch of these, so. Um, what else? So here's my colored clay experiment. Check this out. Like, oh my God, I just think it's fascinating. This is raw, obviously. Isn't that so interesting? I'm really curious what you guys think of the colored clay. And if you like it, would you like me to do a video on how I make it? Because I make it myself. Um, you know, and then I learned how to like throw with it um, with all the different layering the different colored clays together in a ball. So let me know. Here's another one. I just, I don't know, I'm digging it. So much variation and it makes glazing easy. Um, here's another one. There's some tricks to this. Like you have to, I trimmed these when they were leather hard, like the inside to expose the color because there is a layer of slurry on it after throwing. And even with the rib, ribbing it off, it's just not enough. So I, I it's a little bit more work, but it's worth it. Okay. What else do we have? Oh. So I've been playing with Mako glazes too, obviously. Um, this is on BMix. And this is two times Mako sandstone. And then I put two times lavender mist from Mako on top. I really love this. This sandstone like goes good with everything. And this is like the sand, what it looks like on its own this piece here. Really cool. 
Nice. Um, so I'm trying these new black transfers on this clay. And this is just two times pearl white and then two times autumn purple by Spectrum, both by Spectrum. I don't think I, I definitely didn't put enough glaze. I was, I've been nervous because I get so many drips and it's a pain in the ass. So, um, but I think I might refire these and just add a few more coats so I do get a few drips. What do you think? I don't know. I do like these transfers though. The black lace. Well, they could just be like that. So those are those. Um, I tried the colored clay um, with the SIO2 black clay and I'm not, I'm not really sure how I feel about it. It's interesting. This is the raw part, which honestly, I kind of like it better than the glossy. Um, but that's, that's the black. This is also the black clay, but with like the yellow colored clay. Interesting. And this is also this like pinkish was a red colored clay that turned like light pink, which I find interesting. Here's another one. I really like it. I like the bottom better. Okay. Um, oh, so here's another just simple, like one color to clay with B mix. I really just, it's so simple and pretty. And then the inside I glazed, I wanted to try Cactus by Spectrum all by itself. And that's a really pretty green on BMX, huh? I like it. Be using that again. Um, here's another color clay. How oh, freaking cool. Yeah, it ran. That's okay. So I left it raw just to see what it would look like on the B-Mix. And then I did two times pearl white just to the line and then like a third on the rim. And then I did two times blue midnight by Amico and then on top two times textured turquoise by Amico. And that gave off some really pretty, like, drips. I like it. You know, it's beachy, kind of, for the summer. Um, this was just a tester, because I'm, like, playing with stroke and coats, too. Um, on the, this clay, the brown speckled clay. Just stroke and coat dots a little mag manganese wash um, from Mako that I'm just starting to experiment with. So I just wanted to see what would happen. So I did the stroke and coat dots, the manganese wash right on the clay, and then I just went over it with pearl white and sandstone. All right, these are like just pearl white, which is just so crisp and clean. I sell houses, I'm a realtor, so I love giving these, like a set of mugs like this away as a closing gift and people love them and they're just crisp and clean and like can go with like 
a rustic home or a modern home. I love them. So I have a bunch of those. I went light on these this time with the glaze because they, they run so much. So this one got a good few good drips. Um, okay. So those are those. These are all the same. All right. I want to see some interesting things here. We've got this cool bowl. I love it. This is on BMX. And it is three times Norse blue by Mako, three times sandstone by Mako on the inside. But I know how runny that is. So on the outside, I did a base of the honey flux just one time at the bottom because I was nervous about running. And then I did the Norse blue and then sandstone on the rim on the outside. And I had some carving. I was just practicing my carving skills. Could have gone a little heavier, but it wasn't worth the risk for this big bowl. I really like this. It's kind of like sand and sea. Okay. Next up, on the brown speckled, Gorge, I love this. This is one of my favorite combos. It's so easy, kind of. So, of course, it's three times pearl white as a base. And then all I do is do little, like, little stripes, like, to here of two times of everything, power turquoise, blue rutile, seaweed. Um, I let them dry and then I went over the top half. Instead of using flux, I used Spectrum Soft White because it's such a runner on its own. And that's what you get. It did, it did drip like quite a bit on the outside and I went lighter. And then I have some, a few sayings on the back. I made this for someone. Oh, I love that. Um, this, how cool is this? Love that, so simple on BMX. So this, I actually like did it right on the wheel. I just put that transfer right down on like a little flat coaster and then picked up the bottom and just turned it into like a little dish without having to mess with the, the transfer. Okay, this is pearl white all by itself on that brown speckled clay, which I love. Okay. I went light at the bottom because I didn't want it to run. Okay. Um, so the black clay, I did an experiment, which of course, stuck to the shelf it's okay i'm trying to remember the tumblers okay so this is three times honey flux and 
the top half, um, the top half blue rutile over the honey flux. And then the middle was chun plum three times. And it really ran. I mean, I think maybe next time I'll keep it up higher. You know, it has like a really thick drip. I'm not sure if I'm crazy about it, but. That's it on the black clay. That's interesting. The black clay is so cool. And these have like little dents here, little fingerprints to like hold your cup. Okay, the other two black tumblers, I think I like this better maybe. Um, so again, three times honey flux. And then I did two times Amico's fire brick, deep fire brick. And then under that, I did Two times Chun Plum Amico. Okay. Here's another honey pot that I made. My husband loves like copper, so I tried to make him a copper honey pot. So this is just ancient copper from here down three times by amico then the top and the inside is albany slip brown i thought it i did a really heavy three times i thought it would run more but it didn't it's okay i, I like it. it's rustic little bee I'm really digging the honey pots though for our honey. Um, so I made this for my brother for his birthday. His name's Todd, obviously. Um, this is two times pearl white spectrum and then two times Norse blue on top. He lives on a lake and he loves to boat. So I was like trying to go a little nautical for him. He's going to love it. And then I put a cute little saying on the bottom. I don't know if you can see it. it. Just says, I love you and stuff. I like it. Here's another marbled colored clay experiment. I love the bottoms. Like, oh, I just love that. These are cool. I, I'm really excited. I just ordered new colors to like play with with that. Um, this is just a simple tester piece. I was testing carving on the colored clay with B mix. Again, another tester. I would love to know if anyone has experience with this. Um, I do not understand this brown clay. I did not use it. This is B mix with like colored clay, like yellow, green, red, blue. And in a lot of these pieces, something turned brown. And I just am so curious if anyone has any experience with that what could that be um this is i love this this little bowl this was just one of the colors the like cobalt blue and it could go with this as like a chip and dip uh, platter. Again, I did not use this like black or brown, whatever that is. I have no idea. Maybe, maybe two colors mixed together to 
to form that? I don't know what colors would mix together to turn duty brown, but <laughs> anyway, if anybody has any comments on that, I'd, I'd really be interested in hearing what you have to say. It is cool though. Nice platter or chip and dip or cheese and crackers. I don't know. Shrimp cocktail. Um, okay, yeah, there was one more. This is on the black clay. Again. All the colors. Curious about your thoughts on all that with the colored clay. But that's it. That's the kiln load. Um, don't have anything else. That was... I unloaded it obviously first this time just to make the video quicker. Um, and I'd love to know if you like it that way or if you would rather come right out of the kiln. I'm just curious like what, what people like. Um, but anyway, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful 4th of July weekend.